On the 9th of June 2018, YouTube took down my video about Heavy the Squid. That video was probably the most serious topic I'll ever be covering. And that video was about a child abuser. Someone who would groom children in his audience and abuse them. And it was taken down for harassment. Me exposing this child abuser was deemed as personal targeted harassment by YouTube. And as a result, my video was taken down and my channel received a strike. Am I angry about that? Yes. Am I surprised by that? No. When I uploaded that video, I full well knew this might get my channel a strike and it might get the video taken down. So I wasn't surprised. And I didn't think I'd be so angry, but when it happened, I was furious. Not because YouTube had taken down my video, but it's because of what they hadn't done. And what they hadn't done is take down Heavy the Squid. Now, I wasn't the first person to create a video about Heavy the Squid. This has been happening for months before I ever came onto this topic. But I saw that nothing was happening. YouTube wasn't doing fuck all with all this evidence of this guy being a child abuser. They sat by and let his channel live on. They let it grow, they watched it, and it was fine. They were completely okay with this, or so they were, as they didn't do anything. They had videos upon videos from people like Pixsurprised and Medi Excalibur, who'd made videos exposing this dude already, and they did nothing. And because these creators were smaller or their videos were getting less views, I thought I'd step in and try to help. And inevitably, it did. And we took down Heavy the Squid. Emphasis on we. We not being YouTube, because YouTube had no place in it. Heavy the Squid took down his own channel. He deleted his own channel out of an act of attention-seeking, humiliation, and I think anger. The fact that so many people had seen what he did drove him into humiliation and mortification and he deleted his channel. YouTube didn't do that. YouTube didn't bat an eye. They did not care about what Heavy had done. They didn't care about the evidence we'd sent them. They just let it slide. They didn't punish his channel whatsoever. And you could say, well, Doomsday, it's it's because the child abuse isn't linked to Heavy's channel. They're not intertwined. Well, the first thing is that the people he abused were his audience. That's how he'd groom people. He makes videos about Splatoon. Splatoon has a predominantly child-based fanbase. It's pretty easy to find kids in that fanbase, and it's a fucking paedophile's hunting ground. For someone like Heavy, it's golden to make videos about this topic and have fans that look up to you like that. The second reason is that Heavy made an apology video where he admits to what he did. He admits to the child abuse and apologises for it. He made that video and uploaded it to YouTube, meaning that his child abuse and his YouTube channel are intertwined and linked. We reported that video, and can you guess what happened? Nothing. Yet when I made the video calling Heavy out and exposing everything he did in detail, I was punished. The actual paedophile? Nope. And that's just the tip of the iceberg with YouTube. That was the thing that personally pissed me off. But it was what happened after I was striked. When you get your first strike, I'll read out what happens to you right now. Once you're striked, you will have your live streaming taken away. You won't be able to have embedded live streams and you won't be able to have sponsorships. That's what YouTube says, no, you can't have this. If you have another strike, you'll have your monetization taken away, meaning you won't be able to have money on your videos, you won't be able to upload videos longer than 15 minutes, and if you get another strike, you probably won't be able to upload at all. Your YouTube channel will be terminated. But I only have one strike, meaning all that should happen is no more live streams, and that's it. But there's stuff that YouTube doesn't tell you. After I was striked, I started losing subscribers at a worrying rate. To the point where my channel was on the decline, my subscriptions were going heavily down. Not because people were unsubscribing, but because YouTube was unsubscribing then. Automatically. 
And it sounds like, oh, Doomsday is just mad because he's losing subs, but I have video evidence of someone going onto my channel, just clicking subscribe, refreshing the page, and then being unsubscribed. I've had comments upon comments saying, hey, I was subscribed to you. What happened? This has happened continuously, and you can tell on my social blade that things aren't quite right. And the fact this has started happening after I got striked means YouTube is doing something they're not telling me about. There's something in the finer details of getting striked that they don't want you to know. And it's pretty clear that this is just another part of YouTube's punishment. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of trying to cooperate with this. It's bullshit. And these are just the personal things that have affected me. The bigger picture is stuff like Cerny's channel being taken down because he made a 30 second Twitch announcement. It's the stuff where transsexual creators and transgender creators will create videos with trans in the title and they will be flagged down and demonetized by the system while his YouTube claims to be LGBT positive. That's bullshit. It's the times where creators are just fucked over consistently, where people have had to go back to their jobs or quit YouTube because YouTube has been demonetizing their videos for no given reason. YouTube is a shit show. And you know what that means? Nothing. YouTube has a monopoly and it means nothing is going to change. YouTube can keep fucking us over and you know what's going to happen? Nothing. No one's going to leave. No one's going to leave enough to make a big dent in the YouTube sphere. Not many people are actually going to make a stand or enough of a stand to actually make a difference. YouTube can keep doing this for as long as they like because no one is standing up to them. And me standing up to them is nothing. Realistically, people will say, hey, why don't you just make another website? Why don't you just make a website like YouTube that doesn't fuck you over so much? And that's a great idea. Until you realise people have done that before and it hasn't worked at all. Because YouTube has a heavy monopolization here. If you want to create another platform to upload videos to, be my guest. But it won't work. People have tried it and it's failed. Because people don't care. People consistently keep using YouTube no matter what they do. And I can't change that. No one else can change that. Unless we have millions upon millions and millions of people, nothing's going to change. And with that, I give up. I'm leaving YouTube. I'm sick of supporting a platform that fucks over creators and fans so much. And I don't want to affiliate myself with this website anymore. It's been my fucking dream since I was like 10 watching YouTubers to be a fucking YouTuber. And then when you actually become a YouTuber, you realise what the fuck this website is. It's a fucking joke. I don't want anything to do with this. And I know I sound angry and bitter and I hate this. If I was ever going to leave YouTube, I don't want to be like this. Because it's sad. It's genuinely very sad for me to say that I'm leaving. Because I like this. I've worked so hard to get these amount of subscribers and to interact with all you guys. And I'm so thrilled to have this. And to kind of leave it all behind is a bit... It's sad. But it's something I have to do because I don't want to work with YouTube anymore. I'm sick of it. YouTube is a joke. And I'm not going to affiliate myself with them anymore. So, without further ado, I'm going to announce that I'm moving to Twitch. Twitch is a platform that has its problems, but doesn't fuck you over near the amount that YouTube does. And it enables me to do what I love without me being targeted, without, my, without losing subscribers for no reason or losing followers for no reason. And it allows me to operate on a platform that doesn't consistently fuck over its creators like YouTube does. And that allows me to keep creating content for you that I want to create, and I hope you want me to create. I'll leave my channel in the description, and after this video comes up, if you're watching this video as it's just come out, I will be live at twitch.tv slash doomsdayexe, starting this new era for Doomsday. For the, the Doomsday brand, or whatever you'd call it. I'm sorry that I'm leaving YouTube, I'm sorry that I'm leaving it all behind, but it's a joke. I don't know what else to say. It's a complete joke. I'm sorry if this video is a ramble, 
I'm sorry if it got overly emotional or angry. But YouTube has fucked me over and it's fucked so many other people over. I don't want to deal with it anymore. I just don't want to deal with it anymore. Thank you for all of the support over the past two years. Thank you for everything you've done on my YouTube channel. If you're going to continue supporting me on my Twitch channel, that'd be much appreciated. If you're not, thank you for all of the memories. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for everything. Thank you all. I've been Doomsday. Good night.